Well, as soon as the ball went up, I knew it had a very good shot at going in. So I was praying that it was going in, and then right when it happened, everybody started cheering, and I just, but I knew that I had to get back and, you know, get a stop because we wanted it really bad. So. How fitting was it to be on the line there at the end just to put some icing on the cake? Amazing. It's what I mean. Like when I'm in the gym with my dad, my dad's always like, "This, is, you're down two in the state finals. You got to make this free throw." So it was just like that, and I'm glad that I actually got to do it tenseness of that game. I mean, it was yeah. so close all the way through. Yeah, it was a very back and forth game. I mean, they hit good shots, we hit good shots, we had some turnovers that were pretty bad, but it was just amazing. I mean, the way that we pulled that out, it was it was great and it really shows our resilience was as a team. Was there a roller coaster of emotions for you or were you trying to put that in the back of your head? You talk about that. Uh, I, I think I stay pretty poised, so I was I was pretty confident the whole time. I knew that we could either go to, get up or get it tied or something like that, and I knew if we really worked for it, we could finish this. So. First of all, take me through your thoughts when you see Grace's three go in. I mean, is there any time to even blink, or are you already going back on defense? Talk about that. I already went back. I knew she was going to make it. You know, her <laughs> shots weren't falling, but I told her, you know, keep shooting because it's going to fall, and it did right at the perfect time for us. So she sealed the deal basically with that and her free throws. And uh, talk about her steal that she had earlier uh, to – really give you guys an opportunity to try and tie and take the lead. Super big steal, you know. I was a little worried it would be a foul because, you know, <laughs> she went around and stole it. But once she did that, all I could think about was, yes, this is our time. Let's finish it. And well, what was the emotions like? I mean, was it a roller coaster? Was it uh, trying to stay as level-headed as possible? What was that like? Um, was it a fight to keep your emotions in check? Yes, it was. And then once that final buzzer rang, it just all came to me and I just – took it all in and all I could do was cry. Mm -hmm. I was so happy, you know, I didn't think it was real, but it is and you know, all the work we put in paid off, so. Yeah, and to be as close as you guys were last year and then to have the support come out for two games, yeah. you win the first one ever. I mean, can you just sum up the, the feelings and emotions that you, you get from making history? I mean, our community at Rockford is one of the best I've ever been at. Everyone goes to our games, whether it's girls or guys or any sport, and I think that because of them, that they gave us the energy and the momentum that we needed, and because of that, I think that's why we won. You know, not only that, but we've also obviously worked really hard to get here. First of all, check to see how your blood pressure is. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I about passed out. You know, when the the, the clock struck zero and we won. Um, so yeah, I, I feel better now. Um, I just feel so humbled and um, so proud uh, of our community for coming out to support us for the girls stepping up and making big plays to win this thing and just our program overall to put us in position to, to play for something like this. It's just a um, phenomenal feeling. Grace is known for hitting big shots, but man, for, for that one to go in, especially, you know, it wasn't falling for her earlier. Did you feel like, you know, that was just fitting for, for the way she did that? It really was, and it wasn't it wasn't surprising. Um, she has done that since she was on, she stepped foot on campus the you know, summer of her ninth grade year, she has just been a yeah, lights out shooter. And, you know, that ninth grade year, we played in some really big games and she's knocking down threes and big moments with lots of people. I'm like, man, can she really do this? And last year as a sophomore, we make it to the Breslin and she's just lights out. You saw what she did with 23 points yesterday in the semifinals and then making the big shot today. She's just a, she's a primetime performer uh, is what we call her.